Hello everyone, welcome to Explore Electronics. In this video, let us solve some problems on operational amplifier and let us see how to solve those. In this problem, we need to find out the output voltage V0 of this ideal op amp circuit. By considering this op amp 1, op amp 2 and op amp 3 as ideal, we need to find out what is the voltage V0. So here is V0. Here we will be having op amp 1, let me call it as op amp 1, this as op amp 2 and this as op amp 3. See suppose if the problem is given like this, we need to split this problem or this circuit into three parts. Let me call this as the first part of the circuit. So let us find out the output here first. So the output of this circuit let me call it as V out 1 and then we have one more circuit here. This is an inverting amplifier you can observe let me call this as v out 2 and then by taking v out 1 and v out 2 into account as an input for this particular op amp let us find out what is v out finally so let us go step by step and let us see what is v out 1 v out 2 and v naught in the first case we need to treat op amp 1 as i consider this as op amp 1 so the three input voltages 200 millivolts 100 millivolts and 100 millivolts are given with given to an resistors and that is connected to an inverting terminal of the op amp so this circuit will be act as op amp summer this is the summer circuit so we need to add these three by considering these resistor weights so this is our v out one so let me write the expression for v out one as this since it is on summer and it is connected to the negative terminal of the op amp so it is minus so the expression becomes rf let me call this as rf this is r1 this is r2 and this is r3 similarly this is v1 this is v2 and this is v3 so the expression is rf divided by r1 into v1 plus rf divided by r2 into v2 plus rf divided by r3 into v3 this is the expression for inverting summer now we need to substitute the values for rf r1 v1 v2 v3 and all so as we know this is our feedback resistor rf it is given with the value 24 kilo ohm so let me write it as 24 divided by r1 is 2 kilo ohm let me write it as 2 into v1 is 200 millivolts so this is 200 milli and i am going to write k here okay plus rf divided by r2 again since rf is same that is 24 k divided by r2 is 6 kilo ohm so this is 6k into v2 they have given it as 100 milli plus Similarly, RF is again 24K divided by R3 is 3 kilo ohm into V3 is 100 milli again. So, if we substitute like this and simplify this, we are going to get minus. So, here it becomes 12 into 200 milli volts plus this becomes 4 into 100 millivolts plus this becomes 8 into 100 millivolts so we need to solve this finally we are going to get minus 3600 millivolts we can also write it as minus 3.6 volts so let me call this voltage as v out 1 that is the output of the first circuit now we need to solve the second half of the circuit in the second circuit we have 500 millivolt as input to a 200 ohm resistor and the feedback network here we will be having a 2.4 kilo ohm resistor let us solve that in this op amp so in op amp 2 this is an inverting amplifier again we are applying an input 500 millivolt to inverting terminal so the expression for inverting amplifier let me call it as v out 2 since it is v out 1 so v out 2 is equal to minus again rf divided by 
this is my rf let me call this as r1 this as v1 so rf divided by r1 into v1 this is the expression for inverting amplifier so this is the output voltage of an inverting amplifier so what is my rf minus 2.4k divided by r1 is 200 ohms into v1 is 500 milli so if we solve this we are going to get minus 6000 milli volts we can also write it as minus 6 volts this is my v out 2 so by taking this v out 1 and v out 2 into account now we need to solve the third circuit here the third circuit we are applying v out 1 through this resistor to an inverting terminal again v out 2 with this resistor to a non-inverting terminal so this will be act as a difference amplifier so in the next case let me take this as v out 1 this is an input for this and also v out 2 again this is also an input now this will be our difference amplifier okay so for this difference amplifier let me call it as this as rf and this as r1 so if we write the expression for v out finally it is rf divided by r1 and as we know the difference amplifier is going to take the difference between these two and it is going to amplify so v out 2 minus v out 1 this is the expression for difference amplifier and as we know we got v out 1 is minus 3.6 volts and v out 2 as minus 6 volts let us substitute this here rf is 10k divided by r1 is 1k v out 2 it is minus 6 minus of minus 3.6 volts so finally we are going to get 10 out of this and minus 6 minus into minus plus 3.6 so this becomes minus 24 volts this is our v naught finally so if we have multiple op amps like this we can solve the problem by splitting this into different parts like this this is the easiest method to find out the final output v naught